Hello everyone, welcome back to Story Retold. Kalina here. We are in Baranor, uh, which is the radio radiation filled town amusement park. We weren't supposed to be here, but Ooh. Baranor Park. Oh, I got a message from someone. It's a really cool, uh, camera cinematic cutscene pan around. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. Let's take a look at here. What is this? Ooh. <gasps> Radiation goggles. Ooh. Okay. Oh, come on. What do I... Empty. So they were here. Empty. Is this like, uh... The level of ambient radiation is indicated here. But I need to be sure that the entire zone is safe. Okay. Radiation goggles. All right. Well, let's take some a more look at it. So, so that's what the radiation goggles look like. I wonder. Oh, nice, nice view of the the water. Okay, hang on. Oh, there's people to be talking to. Probably not super important. Spirits pardon tribe and save from monster. Reused voice actors. That was also the voice actress for Dr. Epinova. Tribe, honor, great memory of being Captain Talk Too Loud. For always. Captain Talk Too Loud. I could leave. Oh, look, there's the Harfang. Uh, maybe we'll go inside. Maybe the captain had goggles. Someplace. Want to visit park? Bad spirits everywhere in Baranor. Yeah, go up. We'll explore the upward decks. Oh, I was gonna open up my walkthrough just in case. Oh, come on, Kate. Just in case I get stuck again, it's always handy to have. Let's take a look at this. I have, oh, the ignition, ignition key. I don't know how that's gonna be handy, but you know, good to have it. Always good to take inventory. There's a lot of drawers here. Certainly there's gotta be goggles hiding around, right? All right, we'll go down to the engine room. Oh my. What did I click on to get Kate? To okay, I can't even see where we were at. Mm, workbench too high. It's so dark. That's well, a person to talk to. Ostriches must be all impatient and hold. Yeah, I bet. I can't go up those stairs. I can barely see the stairs. Okay, hang on. Um. So 
So... Oh, I missed something. I'm glad I looked at the walkthrough. All right. Let's get out. Head back to the Goggles Dispensary. That sounds terrible, saying it like that. Come on, Kate, go over there. Why don't you go around the Yukul? Okay. All right, so did I miss something earlier? Empty. Radiation goggles. Oops. The level of ambient radiation is indicated here, but I need to be sure that the entire zone is safe. Um. Oh. I keep backing up wrong. Can't move around now, can I? Oh my goodness. The walkthrough has pictures and uh I didn't realize I could move like this. There's a hot spot right here. I did not see this. Blocked. Well, we have a key. Shivered and shake. Shook. Ah, yay! Find a way to pull the crystal from the sand. Okay. Bug eyed glasses. Not much to look at here. Okay. Now what? So it looks clean. It looks like there's no radiation. Um, come back over here, Kate. Come on. Towards the exit. Let's see if we can't get off. And then uh, examine our predicament. Just... Okay, now we've got uh, a wandering yukul here. Let's take a look at this. What is this? Electric outlets. Oh, okay, so we need to find like a plug or something. Electric outlets. Wait, what's this? No more power. Out. Uh, what am I supposed to do here? Knife it? Radiation goggles? I don't know how this helps. Oh. With these, I should be able to see the radiation around me. With these, I should be able to see the radiation around me. Yeah. I have no idea. What am I supposed to do with this? Well, let's back away and let's examine the situation that is here. Oh. This doesn't look good. There's a gap right here. 
Can we jump across? Oh, she's going down. Okay. I guess since it's low tide. Should I be going this way? No, I think, I feel like I need to be going over here. To see what the situation is. Aha. No, 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 I want that hot spot back. No, 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 no. Can I mouse? Can, can I like? Ah, where did the hot spot go? See, okay, I can use my arrow keys to move her. No, Kate, can I use WASD? Yeah, here we go. The hot spot comes and goes. Oh, I'm stuck in this loop of. That's not where I wanted her to go. Oh, this is buggy. Uh, get the hot spot. Come on. Oh, uh, no, she's just gonna go back to her spot. Oh. Okay, fine. If so, if she wants to go here so badly, can I examine the ship problem from here? Spot. Hmm. There How we go. How am I supposed to fix that? How am I supposed to fix that? Ah, uh, well, we're gonna have to, like, oh, use the ice chipper. What if we dug it out using the ice chipper? All right, time for a little bit more exploring. That's not where I wanted to go, Kate. Oh, look. Come on, camera, catch up. <laughs> oh my, that looks like one of the automatons right there. What's this? Is this a door? A spigot? Oh, a, a telescopic hook. That'll come in handy for getting the uh, power lines down. Can I go inside this place? Doesn't seem like it. Oh. Alright, well. I feel like that's what we're gonna have to do. We pull the cable down. Connect the power supply and try to get power to the ship so that we can use the ice chipper and dig out of the sand. I don't know if that's a wise thing to do, like in real life or whatever. But it could work in this game. Hang on. Oh, it extends. That's great. Huh, handy. Miss Catwalk, need some help? Sure. Yes. Can you connect this cable to the crystal? Maybe that way I'll be able to restore power to the park. No problem. Okay. Thank you so much for your help, Mr. Baruth. 
Restore the power to the crystal. Is he gonna do it? Electric outlets? Uh, is he gonna help? Go light boat again. Use time to connect strange magic rope. <laughs> okay, I'm counting on you, man. Okay, one moment. Um, okay. Just gotta get her navigating the crush location. Here, right? Is it this? No, I guess it's gonna have to be this, huh? Yay! We have power! Creepy! freaky. There's a lot of potential here. Yeah, because this is going to convince the Eagles to catch up to modern times and technology. Okay, so find a way to pull the crystal from the sand. Uh... I thought chipping it out with the icebreaker would have been a solid idea. But that's not what the walkthrough says to do, so bummer. I was wrong. Okay. Well, let's get out and explore then. That'll be fun. Once we get the load screen happening here. Let's talk to him. What happened? Rope <gasps> connected? Okay. But next time you warn Baruth first before putting magic back. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Baruth. Okay, Miss Ketwalk. No problem. Baruth tough guy, like very old mammoth. Oh no, we fried him. <laughs> we fried Hugo. How do we get over here? I may be able to tow the crystal using this tractor. Oh. I just have to get to it first. Yeah, don't, don't, duh, climb across the power lines. So how do we get up? I remember seeing the stairs over here. Which we didn't go up. <gasps> Wait. Here. The, uh, there's a creepy automaton's just dead right here. <gasps> An Oscar model. Oscar? Oh, stupid of me. Oscar doesn't exist anymore. I know that. And all those automatons look alike. 
XC2000. Same model. Put the heart in. Your medallion. The heart. You know, it's in very good condition. It contains a lot of essential data from an XZ-2000 automaton. Everything as it were. You understand, on that particular model, the heart and intelligence were intermingled. So then, it wouldn't take all that much for you to get your friend Oscar back one day. Mm. Maybe if I could... He's got the wind-up keyhole right there. We need that. We don't have one, do we? XZ2000. Oscar's serial number. No way. Yeah, I think we need to find the wind-up key. Oh, I just noticed the, uh... The filter around for her glasses, or goggles. Wait, I want to look over here. Okay, never mind. Guess we're not. Um... Can't get across here, can we? Oh, let's go inside. Ooh, what creatures lie beyond the gates of an abandoned theme park? Crest. Yes. Hans put it on all of his inventions. That's not right. So I need a key. I'm missing a lot more things, huh? It doesn't work. Okay, yet another thing that we need. Ooh, a map. This looks important. Uh, I might need to, like, take note of this. Of course, I am using the walkthrough, so I'll just have the walkthrough have it written down for me. There are X's here. 40, 25, this tower, um, which is number 3? 15 plus 25? Here, this is 1. But it's in red. What is the difference between the red and the white markings? I don't know. Oh, what a cool workshop. Oh, that's important. Okay, so we just gotta kinda, you know, touch everything. A cog. An inventory item that I have no idea what to do with. Nothing. Okay, I guess we could try going through this door. Oh, we're on the other side of the building. That's great. This is so cool. Ooh. What happened here? Did you mean to do that, Kate? Okay. Hmm. Another rundown automaton. 
another rundown automaton. Oh, a winch. I should be able to tow the crystal by attaching it to this winch. Okay. Take it and throw it over that gap. What, Kate? What are you thinking? Is it strong enough? <gasps> Sorry. Sorry. Oh, a message. Oh. No ignition controls. I see. The automaton that controlled the tractor has to be connected to this pin, shaped like a Varlberg key, to start it. It's ingenious, but I need an automaton in working order. Repair an automaton. Well, we need the key. Oh, he has a key! Oh, that's for the box. Yes! Run, Kate Walker! This is exciting. I love it when I find an inventory object that I know goes to some place that I've seen before. So rewarding. Oops. Okay. Click it again. We have a cog, though. Ooh, tools. Can we just take the whole box? Okay, I guess we're taking that one. Vorlberg tools. Nothing better for fixing automatons. Did we take all that we needed? Vorlberg tools. Nothing better for fixing automatons. Okay. Okay, we got the wrench, right? Yeah. Okay, let's... No, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go this way. Let's go back to him. More running. But at least it's not that far. Not compared to, like, Siberia 1 or 2, where they... Distance between places was so ridiculous. Can I fix him? I can't. I can't. I can't fix him. Okay. Well, do I have to go fix the other automaton that's sitting down, then? As you were able to explore the area without being harmed, I authorized the Yukos to go ashore. I have to show you something, Kate Walker. What? what is it? Is it important? Come on, Miss Kate Walker, come, okay? Where are we going? Below stinking rotten asphalt is sacred path of the migration. Miss Kate Walker must hurry and quickly bring out all ostriches so you calls can take this route. Listen, I do understand that you want to respect your customs to the letter. 
But moving your caravan through there is suicide. That avenue is completely contaminated. No blah blah, Miss Kate Walker. It is the will of the spirits. Miss Kate Walker saw what always happens when you call the poor spirits. But... Our shaman is stubborn like an old ostrich, Kate Walker. Do you think there may be another route? I don't know. For the moment, I'm concentrating on repairing an automaton to tow the crystal. As soon as I can, I'll try to find another path. Until then, please stay in the safe zones and be careful, okay? Okay, I'm just going through a few things. So... We go there. Well, it says to examine, so let's take a let's look at it. That yeah, that's that is all contaminated. <laughs> all of Baranor is contaminated by radiation. The caravan can't go that way. Okay. Yeah, notice the um the filter around the edge here. Her goggles. Okay. Okay, go around the yukles. Come on. <laughs> I can't go. Not there. Okay. Uh, which direction am I facing now? Oh, what's this? Who could have done that? People put up signs. What's this? A metal shank. Could come in handy, I guess. You know, might as well explore as much as we can and gather all that we can before we can move forward. Can I get Kate out of here? <laughs> Is there, um... Wait, did we go through here? Where does this door lead? I hear seals, sea lions. Where are we here? <gasps> Completely clogged. The park must be behind there. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Alright, let's see if we can't figure- Oh no. The swing. Strange metal man on beach? Who went right can leave again? Boy, it's very long as we must stop so often. Yeah, no. I'm the only one who's making it all work, though, so. <laughs> Ostriches cannot come out now. How do I get out of here? All right, I found the item. They made it exit, so that's good.
Looting. Loading, loading. Okay, let's get down to the automaton on the bench down below. Apparently that's the one we need to fix. Okay. It doesn't work. Wrong one. That was more difficult than it needed to be. <gasps> Out of order. I'll just yank it out, why don't you? All right, here comes the inventory item we've had since the beginning of the game. Oh, we need to connect the valves, huh? Oh, okay. So, how, which direction am I? Okay. Uh. Ah! Is it connected? Okay, that looks connected. Now we just push the button. Is this the right wrench? Okay. Oh, this is satisfying. I like this, but it's it's difficult to get to work. I love the concept. <gasps> Let's wind it up. See what I happens. Remember these locks. They're used to activate all of Hans's inventions. Now I just have to find the right key. So I, what, needed a different key? An activation key. Was that in the toolbox? Okay, uh, I feel like it might be back in that tool, because there were multiple sizes of the key. Ooh. Oh, that's a number that? three. Wait, what? What? What, 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 what? You're not going to investigate that sound? Okay. I didn't notice this before. I guess we're going to investigate the situation. Wait, what's this? Somebody really went all out. Okay, so that's the number two. Number two has a value. This is really in disrepair. This one looks like it's on track and working okay. Wait, can we... Oh, that's the... Mm, that's the stairs. I didn't realize that. No, go back up there. That is so funny. The Yugles are uh, riding on the rides. That's so funny. Okay, this is number three. 
Wait, did I read the note or what? I did. Um. Oh my goodness. I gotta remember to look around for hot spots that are out of range of vision. Thank goodness for walkthroughs, yeah. Okay, what is this? Let's take a look. So there's a lever here, a whole bunch of numbers, and this. Um, okay. Oh, come on. Did I wind it or what did I do? Okay. Um. We just turned into roller coaster tycoon. Wait, what's that? I missed the hot spot. Oh. Avert the eyes. This is dizzying. I wonder where this passage leads. Oh, thank this goodness. This needle must be connected to the mechanism's spring. Yeah. Okay, so 50 gives us a full ride all the way around. Uh... So, according to the map from the workshop, number three's clues are 15 plus 25. Uh, am I supposed... Yeah, notice how... Is this 15? Okay, I would have never guessed to do this, but the metal shank is supposed to go here in the 15, and one in the... 25. Okay. Uh, first, okay, so hang on, I'm reading this. Try not to get like motion sickness. <laughs> okay, so I'm supposed to place these shanks that I found in numbers 15 and 25 done lower the lever on the right it's already lowered oh am I supposed to move the <laughs> okay uh oops let's take these out first so we can move the needle I see I'm getting it okay okay and then we put the shanks in because those help stop the needle and in turn stop the car. And then we put the lever to go. I'm not going to look.
Okay. Okay, so... I back away. Or just look around first, right? Okay, I can see Eagles here. Can't really look much further to the right. As we slowly look to the left. Nothing. Okay, so I guess we take out the first one then. Which is the 25 shank. It'll keep going just a little ways longer. Uh, I'm not watching. Oh. Can go there. Can get back on. This is a space theme. Cool. I'm hearing things. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness, we're going down? What? Where are we? Is this um <gasps> creepy? Nice floor. Stairs going up. The park must be behind there. Okay. Okay, let's go down. Oh my goodness. What is this? Is it a train? <gasps> it looks like a subway system. Is this the yellow line? I don't see yellow. Let's go look down here. Clothes hanging from the wall? Hide. What is all this? Someone was living here. The zone is more or less safe. It's a radiation level. Oh, somebody. It's a memorial. For Andre, my proud soldier. Still fresh. Oh, someone was here recently. Mushrooms? Mushrooms? Can I go on board? Oh, wow. <gasps> A vanity? My Andre. photo album. Okay, let's take a look at it. Yeah, that's not it. Mm. Papa and Mama at the Nahodask. They look really familiar. 
The uniform they gave me after the declaration of war, the look on Comrade Quartermaster's face when they had to find my size. <laughs> Gold medals for both of us. <laughs> oh, look at this illustration. It's beautiful. My beautiful Andrew Cho. Amusement park. First day of work. Just after it happened. The event, huh? Rest in peace. Oh no. My flea bag. With spares. You're all I have left now. I guess we got First runner up in the 1979 Now Dusk Oblast Beauty Contest. Not bad. Beauty Contest? Hmm. Okay. And we looked. Okay, we did look here already. Let's snoop a wardrobe. I need a key. Impossible. I want a knife. A wrench? It doesn't work. Not a chance. That's not right. Okay. Um. Oh, there's something a over here. A real girly girl's room. Girly girls. So a female must live here. Oh, wow. I mean, yeah, it does feel like a teenager's room with the, the fun fairy lights. Moonlights, what have you. Oh. Okay, well, I seem to be missing many more things, and I have more questions, and I've got answers. Uh-oh. Huh? Who are you? Oh. And what on earth are you doing here? Oh, uh, hi. Excuse me. So you're the tramp that decided to use my cart? I had to go all the way up the track with the game I caught on my back because of you. Tramp yourself? I'm so sorry, ma'am. 
I'm accompanying this tribe, and we're trying to leave the park. I thought that that old cart was abandoned, and that I could use it. I never thought I'd do any harm. Hmm. Should have looked around a bit first, though. It ain't abandoned for everybody. <laughs> Huh. Don't that beat all. There you are, you good boy. Mama'll have you up and running in no time. Hmm. What's this key for? For activating the park automatons. You need to give them a good turn of the key every so often, or the poor things get all neurasthenic. Even cantankerous. Plus, they break down. There. Let's let's be friendly. Listen, I didn't really want to get off on the wrong foot with you. Let me introduce myself. I'm Kate Walker. I'm accompanying the Yukul tribe on their migration to their sacred lands. And you're Oh, an American. Yeah, yeah, I'd bet anything. Well, well. Look at that. An American. <laughs> Well, I'm Staff Sergeant Katerina Viktorovna Drostolova. Gold medalist in the shot put in the Moscow Olympics. And the widow of Lieutenant Andrei Grigorovich Drostolov. Veteran artillery officer and figure skating champion. Delighted to meet you, Katerina. It seems you might be just the person I'm looking for. Do you think you could let me borrow that strange key of yours? I needed to repair an automaton, without whom, I'm afraid, it is impossible for us to leave. You've been really polite, and you speak the same way they talk in those books, little lady. You do have a bit of backbone, I'll say that much for you. This key is extremely precious to me. As far as I know, your gang of gnomes and you might just be one of those gangs of bandits that hang around here. Scrap dealers looking in every nook and cranny for a pot of gold, despite the radiation around here. I saw those riffraff off with a load of buckshot. So you're the Katerina Drozdolova? First runner up in the Naudask Oblast beauty contest in 1979? <laughs> yes, indeed, that was me. And that yes. was also when I met my Andre. To be perfectly honest, I thought that somebody from the West could only possibly know me for what I did in athletics instead. Now that I know who you are, I don't dare ask for your key. I would never want to inconvenience someone of your standing like that. Stop, stop. Classy women don't fuss over each other. <laughs> Tell me exactly why you need my key, and I'll see what I can do for you. I have to get a park automaton back in working condition so I can pull our boat higher up onto the beach so the ostrich herd in the hold can get out. The Yukels and their herd have to continue their sacred migration as soon as possible. What's more, the longer we're stuck here, the more likely it is that we'll be caught and arrested by the soldiers who are after us. Hmm. If I say yes, you promise you'll bring it back to me as soon as you've finished? Of course. I would never betray the trust of the great Katerina Drozdolova. Okay then, I agree. Take good care of it. For 20 years now, it's let me keep my bag of mechanical fleas running. 20 years? I thought all the survivors left after the catastrophe. But it was already too late for him, unfortunately. Your husband was contaminated? Both of us did, actually. But it didn't do anything to me. That's just the way I was made. Or maybe I was immune because of all the garbage they kept giving me for years so that I could win that trinket at the Olympics. And since then, you've never tried to get to Valsambur? No. I heard that all of the irradiated survivors were sent to this clinic there and they never get out. Besides, I have absolutely everything I need here. Somewhere to call home. I'm near my dear Andreusha. I have my dog and all the game I want. One last thing before I go. You said the air in the subway stayed pure. Does it lead out of the city? Yes. Just follow the tracks right behind my place and you can get out to the other side of Baranor through the Olympia Stadium station at the end of the line. That's the terminus. Not only do you avoid the radiation, 
But you also have electricity. It's one of the only circuits in the city that's still working. You just have to be careful. Some of the pipes gave way and flooded some galleries with lake water. Thank you, Katarina. For everything. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I missed something earlier. All right, let's go back. I want to see the other side of this area. Is it a dead end? It is. It is a dead end. This glowing area is interesting. Okay, I think I missed something up above when I climbed upwards. So the subway is an excellent place for the migration to happen. To, to go. This is hard to navigate around. Excuse me. Yeah, so I missed something here earlier. I did not notice it. Oh, I see. I had to get a lot closer. Completely clogged. Are these people I'm supposed to talk to? The park must be behind there. Okay, hang on. Maybe this isn't the spot I was thinking of. Let's go back. Up you go. Progress is being made. Oh, do I have to... How do we get them down, though? Alright, let's remove the pin. The metal shank, and we'll return... Okay, I'm not watching this. I can't. Okay. Back out of here. Oh, hello. What news, Kate Walker? Hmm. Looks like Miss Kate Walker have time for much fun. Huh. This ride is the only way I found to get to the park subway station. And what Miss Kate Walker find for you, girls? I learned that the subway is safe. No radiation. I mean, free of all bad spirits, if you prefer. But most important, when you exit from the last station, you can leave the city while still staying on the sacred route of the migration. Where does the station exit to? Some kind of sports complex. Olympia or something like that. Olympia. Land of martyrs. Good work, Kate Walker. I don't know what the Yukos would do without your help. First, we have to hoist the crystal onto the beach. How can we help you, Kate Walker? Well, your ostriches obviously can't use the cart to get to the subway line. Can the Yukos clear the rubble from the station entrance while I take care of the crystal? Go find volunteers. <laughs> See you later, Miss Kate Walker. Oh, okay, we're talking. Once we've left Baranur, what is the next step? The River Balaton. Once we cross the sacred bridge over it, we'll be past the border and in Yakistan. Our pursuers won't be able to harm us there. 
Olympia. Ayahuasca didn't seem to like that. The truth is, I was told that the previous migration went through some bad times. A tragedy that left permanent scars. But you have enough to do for the moment. We'll talk about all that later. Any news from the Yukels who are still locked up in the crystal? Everyone is fine, even if the ostriches are getting impatient. We have to get them out soon, Kate Walker. I'm going, Kirk. I have to find an old friend. Okay, so... Did we actually look at this? I don't remember. No, we didn't. Okay. Um, I I'm going to sneeze. We got the activation. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. Squirrely, squirrely. What does this say? Yeah. Kissy, kissy. <laughs> Uh, extra clues to how to make the uh, uh, the machine, the roller coaster, the car work. Oh, the staircase is open right here. Got it. Got it. Okay. Am I missing an, an inventory object? I think I am. Where? Oh, is it this way? Do I have to go this way? Ostriches cannot come out now. Is it in here? Oh dear. Trying to remember where the um the blocks is it Dare not tell Shaman that tambourine gives bad headache. <laughs> Completely clogged. The park must be behind there. Okay, um, according to the walkthrough, there were supposed to be some dog tags on the ground. Uh, I think it was at the other location, but I didn't see them. Oh, this is what's used in case I messed up the conversation, so I don't really need it. It's just a way to make amends. Alright, so we are going to go back and fix Oscar now. I didn't read that part. I like that you have um, ways to make things right if you mess up the first time. You know, like if, you, if you're on a sour note with a... <laughs> like if you chose the, the incorrect conversation tree, then you have to do something to make up for it, yada yada. I like that. I didn't realize that this was how it went in the game, but look, reading the walkthrough, it pointed something new out to me that I otherwise would not have experienced because I went the right direction. I played upon her, her fame and her pride. Once we get past the load screen.
Okay. Oh, wow. I was not paying attention to where she was ending up. Okay. Let us examine. To open. Get this tiny little key in here. Scroll forever to get to it, because we've got so many inventory items. Wind it up. Okay, I have to return that key. So is everything set? Are we ready to go now? You have refitted the train spring, haven't you? And what about Mr. Hans Vorlberg? Is he on board? There's no more train, Oscar. And there's no more Hans Vorlberg. I beg your pardon? You were supposed to be dead, too. I installed your heart in another model just like you. And it seems to have worked. It's good to see you again, Oscar. <laughs> Are you all right, Oscar? I... I suppose I am indeed, Kate Walker. To the best of my knowledge, I have not been programmed for anguish. I guess not. But you know, Oscar, you were always very talented. This new body is in great need of maintenance. It is suffering from osteoarthritic rust at every joint. <laughs> Oscar, I need your help. Of course, Kate Walker. That is my function. We're stuck here in this contaminated area, and we need to leave as soon as possible to escape the people chasing us. But the Yukels and their herd are locked in the boat that brought us to this poisoned beach. We need to hoist the crystal out of the sand and clear the rear hatch so the ostriches can get out. There's a vehicle on the pier over there that I think we can use, but it looks like only an automaton can drive it. I will gladly do what I can to help you, as long as this worn-out body should prove up to the task. Uh, we'll make do, Oscar. You can trust me. Well, I shall indeed do what I can to help, Kate Walker. But, but, Kate Walker, my clothes. I don't have any clothes. Oscar, the Yukels and I have seen a lot worse. Believe me, we'll get over it. No, 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 and no, Kate Walker. It is completely out of the question for me to stroll around without covering. My mechanical intimacy is protected by industrial patents that ensure the durability of Vorlberg productions. I need clothing, that's all there is to it. Oscar, please. Do not insist, Kate Walker. I will not move from here without decent attire. All right, all right, I'll get you some clothes. Ah, oh, Kate Walker. Have you found some clothes for me? Did you know that Hans Varlberg came to this region and created the amusement park? The rusted body to which I find you have so kindly connected me is incontestably a Vorlberg XZ2000 model first generation. He was looking for Siberia. I'm sure, Kate Walker. It's a miracle there was an XZ2000 model in this sinister place. To be exact, my former body was an XZ2002 model, with parts specific to two subsequent models, XZ2003 and XZ2005B. Of course. What was I thinking? I remember. You seem to be adapting wonderfully to your new body. Huh. This clanky first-generation osteoarthritic rust-ridden mechanical horror of an XZ2000 body. Are there a lot of differences? At most, there are a few minor mechanical changes. The essential parts of my functions do indeed seem to be optimally in place. I'm going to look for some clothes for you again. See you later, Oscar. Please be quick about it. My gears are freezing. I can't give him my extra scarf. What's with the Yugle running in with her hands all over up in there? This is actually a really good spot for me to hopefully save the game where it's at and uh, resume in the next video. In the meantime, 
Thanks for watching. I will try to get out of here. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.